that uh, we were warned about ahead of time with delay results. More than a million people voted from home due to the coronavirus pandemic. Atlanta Bureau Chief Archer Cesardry breaks it down and tells us about the election issues. The blame game in Georgia is on. Yesterday was a debacle. It was an embarrassment. It's ridiculous. This is a mark of shame on, on this state, and it must stop. Voters say long lines, new machines, and a shortage of poll workers added to the confusion. We have to have um, what we call emergency ballots. Sometimes they're called provisional ballots, but they are legitimate, full-fledged, uh, basically mail-in looking ballots at the polling places. The Secretary of State says county leaders should be better prepared. I got texts from people who were in line at 6.50 a.m. and the voting machines had not arrived. People have to leave lines. They got to go to their job. They got to pick up their kids. Mail-in ballots, postage prepaid, need to go to every single registered voter in this state. The NAACP says Georgia should allow same-day voter registration. The discouragement of voters is one of our gravest concerns. And let me let me say, there are states across this country and countries around the world that competently hold elections. This is the basic function of our democratic government. We should be the number one state for African-American voters to vote with the history of the civil rights movement here and with this large percentage of African-Americans and voters of color overall, way more than any other battleground state in the country. And so for our state to fail so abysmally in this basic function is a travesty. It's unforgivable. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, WJBF News Channel 6. Secretary of State says county leaders failed where there were problems and that his office will investigate those two counties.